Miss Christmas is a 1997 film directed by John Corty, written by John McGreevy, based, of course, on Dickens' A Christmas Carol, and this stars Cicely Tyson as Ebenita Scrooge, which I thought was a brilliant name. And something I've mentioned many times is that I love Dickens as a Christmas Carol. I'm always looking for adaptations of the of the short story that I haven't seen before. And this is one I hadn't seen, and I have to say I really enjoyed it. Ebenita is our classic Scrooge character, and the narrative follows the traditional story. She's visited by three spirits, the spirit of Christmas is past, present, and yet to come, and they show her the error of her ways, hoping that she'll change her ways and become less of a Scrooge. And it's very recognisable as a Christmas Carol. I say that because some certainly more contemporary films, I know this is 1997, but you know, compared to films from the 30s and 40s, a lot more contemporary films are not necessarily exactly the same as... Dickens is a Christmas Carol, but they, they lean heavily on the concept, but this one is very recognisable. I guess the key difference is that Scrooge is a, well, a miss, as the title says. But other than that, it definitely follows the classic story. Having said that, Marley is also female. We have Catherine Halmond playing Maud Marley, and I love the character. Really loved the character, loved how it was presented. The spirits in this don't look very ethereal, which is usually the case with a lot more contemporary adaptations. They tend to just look like regular people because, let's face it, it's easier and cheaper. But I'm absolutely fine with that. It didn't affect the enjoyment at all. My favourite would have to be Ghost of Christmas Past, played by Michael J. Reynolds, but they were all brilliant. Uh, Christmas Present is Sean Aston Olsen, and Julian Richings is Christmas Yet to Come. And I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I feel like Christmas Past maybe lasted a little longer than I wanted it to. Not that I wasn't enjoying it. I just think they could have been slightly more evenly weighted. I know Christmas Yet to Come is usually always much quicker, but a little bit more of a balance, I think, could have worked better. But generally, I don't have a problem with the pacing. Ebenita Scrooge is a character I wanted the best for. I think it's important with interpretations of Scrooge that we can see that there are some redeeming qualities in that character as the as they journey through the film. And it did take a bit of time. I didn't feel very hopeful about her ability to change for a good portion of it. But eventually... Well, I'd say about halfway through, I started to see little glimmers of her ability to change. And I think the pacing there was really good as well. Of course, we have Tiny Tim, we have Cratchit, and I really enjoyed it. I thought it worked really well. Definitely an enjoyable interpretation. If you haven't seen it and you do love Dickens as a Christmas Carol, I thoroughly recommend you check it out. If you've never read nor seen A Christmas Carol, this wouldn't be the first film I recommend. It's not the best introduction to the story. But if you're already a fan of it, absolutely give it a go. I really liked it. Wouldn't mind watching it again. Miss Scrooge is definitely one I'm happy to recommend.